here, risky flight going on. First flight with this Holy Stone, the sun has set. Um, I got a 200 milliwatt AIO AKK that I will link down below. I got my fat sharks on. We're gonna go for a little bit of a range run without any further ado, let's go. All right, guys, here we go. AIO, AIO, all in one AKK, 200 milliwatt, gonna send it. Um, you'll notice a little bit of break up right here. And uh, you'll notice a little bit of break up right here. Um, that is not a tribute to the camera. It's a tribute to me. I uh, charged the wrong battery. I charged a JST connection battery versus a uh, lossy connection. And I crudely wired it up just to get out here because as you can see off to the left, the sun is just about basically gone. And it's pretty much dark. And I had the battery for the drone charged. I had my, go uh, my uh, Fat Sharks battery charged. I was ready to go. I wanted to send it. And I was getting frustrated that things were taking so long to charge because, again, you can see it's fairly dark out here. But look, look how far we've made it. Look how far we've made it. And as you see, no flickering. Again, this AIO AKK 200 milliwatt camera is epic beyond epic. I'll leave the link down below. I highly suggest picking up about 50 of them. I'm joking. Pick up like two or three of them. Do pop and swaps like I uh, have done here. Just take 3M tape underneath it. Pop it on what you need to fly. Go fly it. Then uh, swap it to something else. That's the most uh, economical way you can buy these. I mean, by all means, buy 50 of them if you got the money like that. Myself, I don't got the money like that. But just like SD cards, somehow I managed to lose these. So this, this is a brand new AIO. Um, this is a brand new drone that I've never flown before. Um, and we're just sending it. We're sending And it's cold. I mean, I'm sure you can see the ground. It's uh, it's a little bit snow bitten. Um, it is cold out here. So as we're passing over this mound, this mound that is right below us, that I do believe is just over 1.3 kilometers, and that's just guessing stuff from uh, sending stuff out here past. So we're definitely past 1.3 kilometers. I think we we got pretty close to maybe like 1.4. As you see, it tossed back, and we got a little bit of feedback. Um, I still have control of it. It didn't automatically do a return home. Um, so we're going to go ahead and bring it back herself. And again, you can see off to the right that, uh, halo, the sun's completely down. That's just what's left that is shining upwards. Uh, so do I recommend this drone? I absolutely recommend this drone. Just this step. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying not to do the basic review. I'm trying not to do the every other reviewer's review because every other reviewer or is going to take this out. going to put a hat cam on it. Going to show the picture in picture of the, of the camera quality of the drone and bam, that's it. Nobody's going to really push it. Nobody, nobody's going to break the envelope on it. I'm trying to change that. And I've been trying to change the format of doing reviews. I don't want to be that guy. Um, sure, I will review this typically, like everybody else does, so you can see the camera. But, I figured for the first flight, why not? First flight, let's break out of the box. Let's see if this is worth even reviewing anymore. It's freezing cold outside. We just went the range. I mean, we just went out around 1.4 kilometers. Stock, I've not modified this. Um, and I'm really not that high up. If I would have went a little bit higher up, I think we would have been able to get a little bit further just because the linear path from the remote controller to the drone would have been more direct. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a little fly over in that corner there. That corner is troublesome. As you can see, it flicked up. There's just a little bit of loss of connection. I don't know what's up with that corner. I've noted that in many of my videos. I think there's like an electromagnetic pull over there or something. Or something that messes with sun. Um, so we're just going to take a cruise. We're going to fly over the town that's in front of us. Then we're going to come back. And then we're going to go back over the town that we were just flying over. You can see the car down below. Um, the car down below is probably moving at about 35, 40 mile per hour. We're doing shy of that. You can see the blinkers on it. Yo, pretty good quality for, for a 5.8 gigahertz camera, right? And this is DVR, not onboard DVR. This is DVR from my, uh, from my fat sharks. So, uh, I, I'm happy with the quality that we got here. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I'm not thrilled with the quality that I get from the fat sharks DVR, but I'm, I'm good. I'm liking it. Um, I'll try to link everything down below. Initially, this is a review on the drone. This is a review on flyability of the drone in extreme cold temperatures where we're probably around like 10 degrees Fahrenheit or so. So again, that little flaking out is my loose connection. Do not chalk it up to the to the 
to the camera because again we went well past what we are right now um it's just very poor connection i just uh taped the wires and went uh, i did do a test flight prior to uh the video that you are watching and i noticed that it was flickering i brought it down and i'm like you know what now nah, i'm sending it uh and that's what we did and that's what we did and that's where we got the range that we did uh so this was an excellent test of this guys i again let, let me know who else is doing this who else is copycat and J drone off the bat? Um, I don't think anybody's doing this. Now, right here, we lost the feed. The feed is completely lost. Completely lost. So I popped up my goggles and I got it back to this point, which is almost directly over top of me. I popped up my goggles and it was, let's see, I think it was 350 some odd meters away from me. But because it was dim, I was able to see the lights and I was able to orientate it back towards myself because of the telemetry on the controller. Um, I would push forward. It, or no, I think I pushed backwards and the telemetry showed it was going away from me. So I pushed forward and it showed that it was decreasing in distance away from me. So I was able to bring it back just off of the telemetry off of the controller. I absolutely love telemetry on a controller. That's one of my biggest beef with the DJI Mavic Mini why they didn't give us any even generic like like this drone has a generic lcd screen to let us know how far we are away from ourselves just in case we get in trouble we can navigate back home via telemetry um and that's that's this drone the bugs line up uh all your other drones that's in line with this in there you can see me i'm bundled up heavy i i i got a i got a hat on um i forget what it's lined with but it's lined with something my ears are really warm um i got gloves on it's frosty out here but i haven't done much with drones in several days because i've been rocking pretty hard out with rc cars and i'll tell you what i got a bunch of rc cars in um, that we're going to see on this channel in the near future. Bam, there's that flicker again. Um, but I wanted to do something drone related. I wanted to take it back a step. I wanted to get back to basics. This is something that I enjoy doing. This is something uh, that I like to show people. That way you know. You know if you're in a wide open area like I am. This is the type of range you could get. If you are, uh, and again, the flicker is my loose connection. I apologize about that. Um, if you are in a highly congested 2.4 gigahertz area, um, you're probably going to get just over half easily. Not to say that you can't get this because Birdman, he, he back in the day, he was sending the bugs twos. I think it was blind. He was just sending them out by telemetry blind in a, in like a residential neighborhood so it can be done it has been done i just choose not to do it i like to be able to see where my drone is and that's why i didn't just send us out blind and be like bam we passed the 999 mark 999 meters at which we did we we do we we dominated 999 meters um i like cfpv screen here but uh this was really fun guys if you haven't subscribed smash subscribe button down bottom right click it Guys, she's back and here there bam you see that light on and off and on and off it was my connection it has nothing to do with the with the battery itself it has to do with my connection um uh, my connection i don't know if you could see there you can see a lossy connection but then it goes into a jst connection because i charged the wrong battery uh, so was this risky yeah this was risky but was this fun yeah this was fun um we we got out here we saw the range it went well over 999 meters i'm venturing to say it went probably 1.4 1.5 kilometers guys if you haven't subscribed smash subscribe button i didn't want to throw up a regular review that everybody else is doing so we did it a little bit different we did it j drone style all right check you on the next video it's cold out here it's below 10 degrees fahrenheit later